maybe I'm so self-actualized that I'm just able to let go of this person. <laughs> Hi, it's Yeva here. Welcome to my channel. By the end of this video, we'll have a, a little something something that you can do if you're going through a heartbreak and if you want to forget him fast. Now, this may not be your usual heartbreak video, but please make sure that you stick till the very end because what I'm about to share will be quite useful for you. I know you're a smart cookie and uh, I don't want to go to all the usual things that I already know that you know to unfollow him on social media to uh, make sure that you spend time with your loved ones spend more time doing things that you love your hobbies all these great things instead what I want to share is um, something that my therapist told me yes the, I'm a, I'm a grown-up woman and I have a therapist I've never met anyone who couldn't benefit from some therapy but anyway <laughs> So I remember breaking up with someone and uh, I was uh, on my uh, therapist's couch just talking to her and she asked me how I was feeling, how I was feeling because of that breakup and I said, you know what, I feel alright, I feel, I feel free, I feel that finally I don't have to think about all this nonsense that I can just move on with my life. Then she said, but how are you feeling, you know, because it's a, it's a massive thing. And I was like, I don't know, maybe that person just wasn't that important to me because I kind of feel nothing. And then uh, she said that um, a breakup can be compared to a loss in your life uh, because you were spending so much time together with that person. You were, it was part of your life and it's someone that uh, uh, held uh, a really important place in your life, in your heart, in your everyday little things you know that you are doing. It was someone maybe that you were planning a future together so you thought that this person will be in your life and now this person is not in your life anymore so that process can be compared to a grieving and when I heard that first I was like whoa I, I do not want to think like that because that's just nonsense uh, he's not that important let, let me just forget and I know you were watching this because you are looking for ways to forget him fast and I'll give you something that will ease that pain I promise so make sure that you are watching this video till the end but I also want to encourage you to really try to feel what you are feeling because of that heartbreak. How are you feeling? What are you feeling right now in regards to that breakup? In regards to the heartbreak that you are experiencing at the moment? So tell me in the comments, I'd really love to know this. If you are not comfortable telling me this in the comments, then make sure that you message me on Instagram. Message me with what came up for you and also follow me, you know, for some, uh, I share some funny love memes from other people. Anyway. <laughs> Before I talk about that unusual thing when it comes to a heartbreak and how to forget him fast and all these things, I want to touch upon why is it actually important to feel those feelings. So imagine you're feeling that pain but you're like, you know what, I'm, I'm just, I, I pulled myself together, I'm not even experiencing that pain, whatever, he's um, this kind of... Uh, person he was giving all these mixed signals and I wanted something else that was the end of the relationship I just made that decision make sure that you watch the video that I have on my channel about why he keeps coming back but he won't commit it's a good one and I'm just not even gonna give any time to uh, feel anything I'm, I'm just done and I, I just want to forget him and never think about him and goodbye uh, delete everything block everything that's it Bye done uh, what's the other word I don't know <laughs> and I understand why it's uh, very tempting to do that however if you're not letting yourself feel the pain the disappointment on the other hand how are you going to feel uh, joy happiness contentment because without one there is no another and if you're not letting yourself experience that rain then it means that when that rainbow and when those beautiful feelings come as well you may be numb and you may not be feeling and experiencing those, those feelings either so I think it's very important to check in with yourself and 
let yourself feel. And I know how tempting it is to want to forget his, this person fast and how to get through this heartbreak fast. Maybe sleep with someone so you don't have to think about him anymore. But I think in the long run, if you are able to end this relationship and get through that process of grieving this relationship in a way that you are feeling things that is more healthy, I think you will build a really beautiful base for the next relationship that will come. Because the way you end the relationship, everything that happens afterwards is the beginning of your next relationship. And that's where I come to the next part of this, which you may now think that I'm crazy to think that I'm just gonna give that point of view to you. So whatever that person did, whether he was uh, being flaky, whether he said, you're gonna get married, but then he said, oh, I just don't feel like it, whether he said you are the only woman in his life, but then you found him cheating, whatever that thing happened that uh, was the reason that you broke up. I want you to think that no matter what he did, he had good intentions. Yes, I said it. <laughs> now, don't, don't run away quite yet. Uh, I'm not crazy. Just stick with me there. Stick with me there. I remember when I was in a situation when someone uh, cheated on me. I was seeing this guy and he cheated on me. In fact, he was... I was the other woman and I didn't know that. I felt shame, disappointment in myself. I felt really stupid. I felt all those things because I was like, how could I not see this? How could I have been so stupid and so ignorant and, and ignore all those red flags, everything that was going? How, how was it even possible that I would allow myself to be in that place? But if, I didn't know these things, you know, back then when this happened, but imagine if I changed that perspective. What if I thought, you know, that he did cheat because he didn't know any better, because he was trying to fill the void inside of himself, because he was not happy inside of himself. And he did that because he didn't know how to confront me and he didn't know how to tell the truth. Find whatever is possible, whatever that person did, find something that will help you see from his point of view and uh, how no matter what he did how deep down he had good intentions now this is not to say whatsoever that you if someone hurt you and if someone treated you like a doormat and things like that that you have to forget those things and and get back together and all that that that's not what i'm saying you know it's up to you if you want to do those things why is it important to think that this person had good intentions it's because it will release you it will set you free from those ill feelings that you might be having towards that person. And when you don't have those ill feelings towards that person, it's much easier for you to let go. And it's much easier for you to even uh, forgive yourself that maybe, you know what, you did let someone take you for a ride, uh, you didn't see those things coming and, and all that. I don't know if that makes any sense whatsoever. I know it's uh, maybe a bit different friend from uh, the usual how to forget him and how to get over him fast things but I think it doesn't hurt to try right try something different <laughs> Also, if you are in non-traditional love and dating uh, wisdom, then make sure that you check out my book, Why Am I Still Single Book for Women? The Truth I Wish My Mom Told Me About Men, where I put everything that you need to know about how to stop attracting unavailable guys, how to use online dating sites so they don't drive you crazy, how to navigate life as a single woman and, and much more. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Tell me in the comments. Share 
share with other leaders what is your go-to thing to do when you are going through a heartbreak and if you watch this video and you're thinking you know what Yeva I am done and dusted I'm ready to start dating again then make sure that you watch my video about a few things that I think you should ask yourself before you start dating again and uh, also uh, subscribe and hit notifications because the next video that I'll be releasing will be about a few things that you may be doing that are self-sabotaging your love life. So if that sounds something that, you know what, maybe I'm doing those things, <laughs> uh, then make sure that you subscribe and hit notifications. Thank you so, so much for watching and always remember that you are worthy of love. See ya!